Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. Once upon a time, it sounds crazy, but there was actually no sugar in Europe. Of course, we had natural sugars, you know, in the foods, uh, but the powdered cane sugar that you all know of today, and probably get way too much of it in your diet today, there was none of that in Europe before, really, um, one or two thousand years ago. But the thing is, Europe was never meant to have this in the first place. Europe is one of the places in the world where sugarcane and other related plants like that don't grow naturally. It was imported from the Middle East not that long ago, get this, by crusaders and the christian kings in the 1300s they brought it back from the middle east and they told the wonderful people of europe that they have to eat this because it was essential for good health uh, of course what happened a series of plagues and horrible health uh, for the people of europe that lasted about 600 years really and we really hadn't got out of that until the 1900s maybe uh, late 1800s and even today we have still not learned our lesson really because we're still eating this poison in crazy amounts but what we're talking about in this video is sweeteners that were used before this cane sugar came into europe so we can say a little bit uh, about the herbs uh, there are many herbs that are native to Europe that you can really make a, a big difference uh, to adding and making your cooking a little bit sweeter, desserts or whatever. We could say peppermint or lavender. These types of things were used for a long time in Europe to sweeten up the food a bit. Of course, there's no sugar in that, but it will give the food a little sweet taste if you want it to and other similar herbs like that. We can also maybe say cinnamon. Cinnamon is not native to Europe, but it has been traded to Europe for two, three thousand years, maybe even longer. It was a lot more expensive um, at the start, and, and most Europeans who weren't royalty didn't have access to cinnamon until much later on in time. But hey, whatever, I'll include it. It's at least been in the European diets uh, a lot longer than sugar has, and of course, it's way healthier than sugar. Next one, honey. Duh, this is probably the oldest sweetener in human history in general, and it's found everywhere in the world where there are bees, and it has no expiration date, okay? If you replace all the processed sugar that you eat today with honey, that's a great start to satisfying your sweet tooth easily, and it's not that expensive either. Just take a little bit of honey, put it on whatever you want really, and that should satisfy a lot of our uh, sugar cravings. Syrups and tree saps are a good one actually. Um, in most of Europe, uh, birch sap, especially in the north of Europe, that's the one that has been used most commonly uh, in history. We don't use it much uh, anymore. Um, it's hard to find in stores, but it's very easy actually to tap a birch tree and harvest a bunch of this sap and it really it's it's a bit woody but i think it's delicious um but it's not for everyone but i love it and it's a great alternative to sugar finally um turnips and parsnips which i uh, spoke about in a video last week they were used as a sweetener uh, in european dishes for a long long time before sugar these were actually used in europe all the way up until the 1800s actually Maybe they were the most used vegetable at the time, especially the starchy vegetables. Uh, that was before potatoes came in, which is, was a way cheaper and easier replacement. Um, so we stopped eating parsnips and turnips, but we can definitely uh, still uh, use those today. And yeah, if you actually let parsnips and turnips uh, grow, um, through, not through the first winter, but through the second winter, it develops a much sweeter taste and it's great to grind up and it is used in dessert recipes to sweeten them. So a very, very good natural native European sweetener that you can use to satisfy your sweet tooth. So those are just a few ones, guys. Of course, Europeans had sugar in their diet forever. 
through other ways too, through fruits or even milk, which has a type of sugar too, that's lactose. Um, so of course we had sugar or the sucrose molecule, at least in our diets forever. The point is that we're not supposed to have this powdery white poison imported from halfway around the world. There are plenty of other alternatives if you have a sweet tooth I don't have it that much, but definitely at certain times a year, especially in the winter, I like to add a little sweet things to my diets, and that's just a natural way of seasonal eating, how ancestors would have done back then, too. So how about you guys? Do you know any natural sweeteners? Are they from different places in the world? What do you use? Where are they from? Let us all know.